How was golfing? Golfing was, golfing was fun. Golfing was fun. Yeah? Yeah. I can get into it. I love that. What I was your day like? What did you wear? <laughs> you know, that was like the biggest thing for me. Well, the outfits. I wore um, a white polo shirt with a white polo, polo, um, polo shorts. Come on. <laughs> polo, 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 um, rugby bucket hat. Come on. <laughs> it was nice. I cannot. I cannot. Did you get the gloves? I actually won. I won. <laughs> I won the award for best dress. Really? Good. Cool. Congrats. Where's the picture? Do you have a picture? No. I didn't oh take man. Any. <laughs> but there's some. I, I used to be taking. Welcome, Najim. How you doing? Pretty good. I shoot shop talk here every week, every Friday. I just talked to you the guys hustle. about different current events and stuff. Oh, yeah, you gotta hustle to make it, you know? Come on. <laughs> you gotta work to make it. Dude, did you go to golf? What? No, no, I'm trying to figure out my, my somebody tried to hack my PayPal. Oh, too bad. Figure that out. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, talk to me about golf. Golf was amazing. How did it start off? So, flipping party bus? That was your first time too, right Chris? Yeah, my first time. Oh, you were there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Dope, we're all dope, there. Dope, 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 yeah, Okay, what did you wear? 23 people came out. What did I love 24 people all together. Wore a white t-shirt. Yeah. yeah. This bucket hat. Shirt. Love it. Um, Panther had a bucket hat too. So you guys are looking like crazy out there. Some navy blue sports shorts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some Vapor Maxes and just shooting the shit that's it come on great time. it was great amazing time. yeah it was Dope, great you time. guys first <laughs> annual golf tournament went hands down with everybody had a good time which was great everybody was on the magic <laughs> yeah magic. but it was you know it was humbling because man golf is a difficult sport yeah, yeah. And it's good, so you respect it and you, you want to be good at it. it. You know what I mean? It was super fun. Yeah, yeah. Do dope, 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 dope. Yeah, How did you do? Honestly, yeah. I was just playing for fun. It was my first time. Okay, yeah. really? I still need to get my swing down pad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit a couple balls, but that's about it. Did anybody show you like how to do it properly, like how to hold the uh, little, the club yeah. properly? But I'm just really house. stiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't worry. How did Next you time. get clubs? Where did you get your clubs from? You rented it from the flipping clubhouse? Uh, everybody had their own Somebody clubs. Let me clubs. How, where did you get clubs from? I partnered up with a friend, so he brought his own clubs. Okay, dope. Yeah. Dope, dope, dope. Yeah, that's about it. Bye. Uh -huh. Very nice. Hi, Mike. Say bye to Cindy. She's going to Ottawa for the Great day. Bye, bye Cindy. Water. Get there safely. Yeah, wasn't too hot. Wasn't too much sun. Yeah, I love that. Perfect. 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 Love that. Yeah. It was beautiful. It was beautiful beyond imagination. And talk about the prizes. So the prizes, so, um, we, we were able to get donated prizes. Amazing. Um, from sp our sponsors, basically. Yeah. <laughs> golf sponsors. So Peter knows guys that work at Titleist and all these places and gave my Yamaha sound bar. And uh, that was first prize. Trophies. Look at the trophies up there. I'm Michelle, she won those two trophies up there. Dope. I'll be right back. One second. <laughs> Dope. Looking <laughs> so good pulling up. Shit. You were looking too good. Huh? Yeah. What happened? Yes. What happened? Yes. <laughs> yes? Yes. What is going on? This is nice. Thank you. Come on. Like a real G too, huh? g uh -huh. up. g up. I had to get him the one hand perk. I had to spiff him the next hand. I had to get him the spiff in the one hand perk. It's cool. So you must have heard about this. What's that? News is going to be blocked from Canadians on Instagram and Facebook. Did you guys hear yeah, that? Yeah, I heard that. What is news? News. Oh, the news. A fuck is all the real news? Yeah. So like, oh, because they refuse to pay. News? Well, this is the thing. Sorry, sorry. So, um, mainstream media. Mainstream media. Uh, mainstream yeah, media is yeah. going to be blocked. Yeah. I didn't think there was such a thing as real news. Thoughts on it? Where do you, where do you I buy? I don't, I don't watch, I don't watch that news That's anyways. the thing. Me neither. That's probably why they're doing it. I don't know. I don't watch that news. 
I don't watch that news. I don't I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to do with it either. I don't know. It feels weird. Because the only news we'll actually have access to is C the CBC, the CP24, everything that's like sponsored by Canadian government. So it's going to be all propaganda. That's all they plan. Exactly. And then whatever gets filtered through. Okay, that's what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, What's the next like I said, move? I don't watch news anyways. Yeah. I just watch what's current, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Right now, I'm watching the, no, the war in Niger right now. That's what I'm focused on. I don't really focus on the, all the other bullshit. Because it's all the same shit. Everybody's just going to agree, anyways. Even if I say, hey, they're lying to us, everybody's yeah, yeah. still going to be like, hey, it's the truth. You're crazy. So I don't bother no more. Hmm. Mm -mm. Okay. Do you care about the news? Like, where do you watch your news when you're actually checking for the news? I don't watch news. I know. I feel like a lot of us don't, and a lot of us don't watch don't mainstream watch, media. I don't watch news because of COVID. COVID. Since COVID. COVID made me stop watching news. Right? Yeah. Because I was tired of all the bad news and all the fucking bad information. Yeah, no, I blocked so all I, those guys. I turned on the news, yeah. I watched the weather, and then back to sports. Yeah. That's all I do. All I use the news for is weather. So right now, there's a bill that passed that basically what ended up happening is because the bill passed basically the canadian government is like oh uh, mainstream media should be paid for their stories mm -hmm. blah, blah 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 now you can't get canadian news on places like instagram facebook or canadians can't get news on instagram and facebook yeah all meta all meta um platforms mm -hmm. do you do you care about the news do you follow the news do you follow like current events where do you go when you do See, Where do you find your news out from? As, as a teenager at my age. How old I, are you? I'm 19 going 20, right? Okay, yeah. So I don't usually watch the news like that. Yeah. But I'm always on TikTok and that this one famous TikToker, I always forget his name. Yeah. He's, he's been on BC, BBC and all that. He's, he, more people see his news there. Rather, yes. Like more people watch news in TikTok. Yeah. Rather than like the yeah. channels yeah. and everything. Yeah. Because for some reason, TikTokers don't have nothing to do, so they're going to be honest ra rather than the news uh, companies, yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. They have a lot of There's stuff no conflict of interest. Exactly. These so guys have a conflict of interest in the government. government. To the yeah, so they're going to tell you the truth and be right yeah. on point, but watching like TV news, I don't do that. But Too bad you don't have his name, so we could recommend him. Well, I'm going I'm to I'm search out for you right now, real up. quick. Yeah, I'm going to find out for you. Let me see if I can find it. But yeah, like. Because I'm the same way. So I get my news from Twitter, and for a long time, Twitter's been like a main like news source for people. So I'm just hoping that the same thing doesn't happen on Twitter where they're saying, oh, Canadians can't see any news. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm not fast for news, Lisa. Yeah, I know. Because half of it, I don't believe what they're saying anyway. This is it. So you can survive without it. Of course you can. You can survive without it. Of course you can. You don't need, you don't need the news. You don't, you don't need it. Dylan Page. Dylan Page. Yeah. That's where I watch my news from on TikTok. Dope. Dope. Dylan Page yeah. on TikTok. Check it out for honest, for honest news. Honest news. Honest and the reviews and anything. That's important. All over the world, not just one place. All over yeah. the world. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be touching everything you need to know. And Dope. You can search it up. Yeah. Dope. What yeah. are you studying? What are you doing next? Oh, you're gonna be a barber? Oh, uh, that's the supply right now. I love I'm trying, it. I'm trying to get my skills it's money. together. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get my skills together, you know? Yeah. Get better, learn from the best you got. Come on. Manny, I love it. Good. I did the math on you guys. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? I know. You did the math. I know. What's the math? I know. <laughs> okay. I know. Uh, what's I'm going to open up a cut and run. Don't worry. As soon as I get my money up, I'm opening up a cut and run. Pete, how was golf? How was the tournament, man? How was the whole day? What did you wear? Oh, I didn't. I didn't go all out. I didn't go all out. What did you wear? No, I just had my I had the blue polo RLX pants. <laughs> I, I didn't know what to expect that day, though. Yeah. It started In terms off of warm. The I didn't know if it was gonna get cold. I, I wasn't sure. Yeah. So I wore pants. Okay. But but no, it was great. It was. I couldn't believe the amount of people that came out. Love it. The bus was, yeah, we took the bus down. Yeah, how long was the bus ride? Uh, 45 minutes. Okay, so it was like, what did you guys do? Like drink and like play music and stuff? No, that's the thing. Like, well, some guys were drinking. Yeah. I didn't drink. I don't drink or play golf. Yeah, yeah. So you do whatever you want. Yeah. 
Everybody was on mushrooms though. Everybody was high on <laughs> the microdose before we left. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was nice. It was nice. It was nice. So we got to do it again now. Well, how did you play? What was your What was your final? I I came. I think I was tied for second. Oh really? Bayon said he, yeah. Who else was second? Miguel. Bayon. 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 Bayon's team was second too. Dope. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was team? Well, yeah, two two songs. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Or no, you guys did. It was four songs. Yeah. So How did you guys ball. choose the four? So if it's a woman, women play from where the women's tee box is, and then the best shot out of those the two women, yeah, they'll play the best shot. They will drop their ball. So if you hit your ball and it goes in the middle of the fairway, yeah, and the other person hits their ball, yeah, and it goes into the woods or yeah, it's yeah. in the grass, you just play from the woman. You play from the good. I yeah. love that. That's pretty nice of well, you guys. Well, because yeah, it helps to speed yeah, it up. Yeah, hilarious. Because. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice. It was nice for me to see, like Sean and. And Panther out there yeah. swinging the clubs. Like, I've yeah. never really seen them in that kind of setting. I love that. Yeah. Shani, what did you wear? A <laughs> nice white polo. Come on. Some nice reddish khaki pants. I love white it. White shoe. My heel was hurting me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he wasn't was supposed to play. Was he was supposed to play. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to play. Yeah, I saw it early on. Like a last minute. Last minute throw in. Yeah. But I almost hit an eagle. Dope. I birdied one hole. What First does birdie time. mean? Two moves. Oh my gosh. Within oh, two moves? Three. Yeah. Within three? One short of one short of the limit. Okay. Which is par. So whatever you're on, it could be a par three, a par four, or par five. Mind you, so KT an eagle, got us eagles there. usually happen on par five. So no, I think KT got us there. Yeah, of course. So he got us there, grass ball, they call it. And then he let me put it and it went from here to Panther and it rolled in and out. <laughs> Amazing. I threw my clothes. These guys are <laughs> yeah, yeah. We had a good time. I had a good time. Don't. I would do it definitely. I would definitely golf again. But you gotta have the attire, the clothes. Yeah. Gotta have the clothes. Well, I was worried about the shoes, but everybody just wore their running sneakers. shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you can just yeah. wear sneakers. Yeah. It has to be sneakers. Can yeah. I wear flats like these? Just no, flats? No, you're gonna be sliding all over. It has to be no. sneakers. Yeah, yeah. I bought my shoes. <laughs> I wear regular shoes. They've got golf shoes. Yes, of course. Can't play golf in regular shoes. Can't play golf in regular shoes. No, no, you need golf. You need a collar. You need a collar on your shirt. Right? I love that. You need a collar on your shirt. Is that a thing? You need a collar on your shirt. Yeah, but it's it's etiquette. Oh, gentleman sport. Gentleman sport. Golf is getting cooler now. I think they're trying to appeal more to younger. Yeah, these guys are on the field in bucket hats and stuff like that. And now you can wear hoodies. You can wear hoodies on the golf. Come on. So that's cool. I do like when I that. I go out there, one of these days I'm going to go out there, I'm going to wear a cardigan over my shirt. Oh, I love that. That look, that look. I With love that. the cardigan, that. Peter pulls yes. that cardigan off. Yes. Wow, man. Yes. You know? Yes. That's the yes. That's, that's it. That's, that's it. Okay. Yeah. That's where you wear the cardigan. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. You're driving I support the golf cart around with your cardigan. I support that. Put a split from your mouth. You know Honest to God, yeah. I cannot handle. Straight up. Okay, so um, we can get into where you guys get your news, but also... Hey. How you doing? Pretty good. How's it going, man? Good. How you doing? Where do you get your news from? Where do you usually watch your news from? I don't watch the news. Yeah, a lot of people. Oh, when news. did you watch it before? Like, is that something that's new, or you just never really did? Um. Okay, so I usually put it on city city TV, like yeah. TV twenty four. Yeah. Because I wanted to see the weather. Yeah. And then, so I guess it's in the background. So then I hear something, then I'll come out and. Look. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. So. I guess that's where I get my news. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really. Like I said, for me. Yeah. I think I said this before. All the shit that they're telling you on the news. Yeah. Has nothing to do with me. There you go. Okay. It you know what I'm saying? Unless they're shutting down like how they did COVID and everything has to be shut down. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Different story. Yeah. Huh. None of that stuff has anything to do with me, and I don't really care to hear about something that happened in fucking wind or uh, Detroit. There was a shooting in Detroit. So what? The f I don't care the shootings. I don't want to get into it. I'm just saying. Yeah. It, that news has nothing to do with me. Yeah. A right, bill recently passed. I think it's C10. Bill C10. Okay. Where the ramifications of it ended up being that Meta, so that's Instagram and Facebook, block news now 
from Canadians. The only, oh, I heard this. Yeah. I did hear this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So based you on pay, your you lifestyle, pay, though, no. yes, they want them to pay, but they're not going to charge them. They're not gonna. They're not gonna pay flipping. Why would you pay for the news? Okay, but who's paying for the news? So here's the thing. And when I heard that, I was like, "That's okay. We don't have nothing to talk about here, anyways." Okay. I don't really have okay. much to talk That's about. That's a position. These guys are. <laughs> these guys. We're covering Groundhog Day. We're doing like. Yeah, we don't really have much to talk about. When there's a shooting in the city, oh my God, breaking news. Da, da, da. Yeah. This stuff happens in the States all the time. That's regular, you know what I'm saying? That's a regular yeah. thing in the States. It's not big news like it is over here. So because of that, I feel like, yeah, there's not much to talk about in Canada. Taxes? Like nobody cares about our government. Nobody, I'm sure Americans don't follow our, how our judicial, our, our, uh, our, our government system yeah, works. Yeah, for sure not. Sure yeah, 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 what's know. going on? I mean, people know this shit on Trudeau, but other than that, yeah. Right, yeah. that's the only thing they know. Yeah. They know yeah. about Rob Ford. They just want yeah. the juicy stuff in the States. Yeah, so that's what we follow in the States too. You know I don't right. follow any of the boring stuff. That's right. Yeah. And most of our news is that the we see on TV, we can get it online. Yeah. Like all the stuff, like Michelle had said, it, all the stuff that you're hearing City Pulse regurgitate is all online. Like you can go to Twitter yeah. and, and A lot of times stuff. they're getting their stories from Twitter. Right. That's a lot of times they're getting their stories from Instagram right. and TikTok. Right. That's just what it is. Right. So... I, I don't see the, the, our our news networks over here are not it's not a powerful they're not that powerful hmm. you know what I mean yeah like if we were to be on the news I don't think we're gonna get it's not gonna increase our business if we're on the news you know what I'm saying <laughs> or anything good I don't yeah I don't see it yeah I just don't see it. interesting yeah. What was Sean talking about? That burger place, that thing opened up? What burger place? Trill, Trill, Trill. Which, who's, who opened up Trill Burgers? Okay. Yeah, what's his name? Um, what's the guy's name again, Pete? Bundy. Bundy. What about it? Yeah. Trill Burger. Yeah. And it's blowing up across all. Oh across really? The so he opened up a whole bunch of franchises? Yes. Okay, great segue. Great segue. Everybody's been tasting them. Uh, rappers and everybody they're introducing it to all these guys. I love it's it. Just going over there it's just like that it's like a gold okay line. guys yeah guys i don't know if you've been paying attention but it's time for black entrepreneurship it's time for more cut and runs where we just hire for all black people i'm not kidding yeah, that's what time it is right now the problem with the problem with that is, and we talked about this earlier today is we can't really duplicate this that's what i'm saying we're gonna have to try we can't duplicate it we've they tried in the past. I don't know if it's yeah. now is the time. I don't know. I can't say that. But it's been done in the past. Remember Cut Creator? Yeah. They came out. They had so many stores everywhere. Yeah. I think there might be one Cut Creator now. Yeah. That's what I'm saying? Nappies. Remember Nappies? Yeah. Nappies did the exact same thing. They came out. Oh, yeah. We're going to do a maze. We're going to have 50 locations. I think there's one now. I'm seeing the Spanish guys though, they're doing it. This one flipping location that's on St. Clair, these guys have two locations on St. Clair. I saw them downtown, so they're doing it. They're it My work. point is more than even just cut and run. Yes, cut and run, I wanna cut and run. I wanna cut and run one day. Right. Right. Yeah, yes, right. <laughs> for sure. But I'm also saying just for our community, we have to start thinking differently. I'm not kidding. We have to start thinking differently. Next time Absolutely. you're in a store, pay attention to the stores. Yeah, yeah. People aren't caring about hiring their own people. They are not caring. Right. It has become very obvious and very yeah, yeah, ruthless. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, time yeah. we have to start thinking entrepreneurially, yeah, yeah. like right. period. Right. Or else the kids won't have any jobs. True. 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 I'm done. I'm done with the statistics being on the bottom. I'm done with being the least. All of it. But who Think could about the that, potential. Though? Who could change that though? Only we in, do. Individuals we do. can change that. That's it. You have to do it individually. I'm saying it's it's a Pete flipping Pete. You won't cut and run. Yeah, you started a vibe. I can't make you. I can't make you do anything you don't want to do. No. Like if, if you don't have a passion for something, and no, I, yeah, I'm not talking about passionate less people. I'm talking about giving opportunity to the passionate. To the people that oh, do have passion, to people 100%. that do want to build, to the people yeah, yeah, that yeah. do want to work, yeah, yeah. and we need to just build a whole new culture, a whole new expectation. Absolutely. You know what Absolutely. I mean? There's yeah, too yeah, much yeah. brilliance, yeah, yeah. too much creativity yeah, yeah. for us to have a different, like, flipping reputation. Yeah. Just True. period. Well, we're yeah. already talking about doing something next summer. Come on, um, like what? Like cut and run camp. Camp cut and run. Come on. Teaching them how to. 
Exactly. Learn how to cut here exactly. Really and then also a bit of entrepreneur stuff, Pete, too. Absolutely. You got to teach these Absolutely. kids how to open up their right. own stores. Right, right. How to set a culture. Right. How to create good customer teach culture. Barber, teach, teach them how to manage. barber and then teach them how to sell that. Yeah, of course. But you got to get them how do you, what, what's the, How do you set up something where everybody feels comfortable coming in that lasts 30 years? Yeah, you have to be confident. That's all it is. It's just the confidence. You know what I mean? And it's it's much easier now because you got YouTube and stuff. Yeah. We didn't have YouTube growing up. Yeah. We don't only have to look at other, watch other barbers cut hair. Yeah. Like in their barber shop while you're getting your hair cut or waiting to get your hair cut. Watch how they do it. Or that was it. Yeah. That was you know what I'm saying. Yeah, or you yeah, practice, to, you yeah, to have practicing. the nerve. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like for you to get down the oh the different stages of a fade. Like yeah. That nobody can t teach you that. Like if you didn't have if you didn't see it, you wouldn't know how to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. So it's easier now. Is my point because there's YouTube and all this stuff like that. Well, it's a huge opportunity for um, for young kids. Mm -hmm. Hey. It's a great entrepreneurial um, opportunity to open up your shop to be successful. Yeah, yeah. I, I keep teasing Panther. I do the math on you guys all the time. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a good business. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's like, why not? You know, you can get a lot of people in too. So how are the shifts divided? How many? How much staff could you fit into this store, running full time, like a full throttle? How well, many barbers could you actually have? Well, we have four. Yeah, we're doing four right now during yeah. the day. Could you and do eight? And then you can have another four at, in, the, in the night shift. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that could yeah. be eight for the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to do it Yeah. That, like I said, that's totally possible. Exactly. Hey, 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 hey. It's going to be a little while after that. Hey, is that mine? It doesn't have a... Well, what is she getting done? Just a haircut? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we could totally fill up our day with. Cool. You know, well, I'm looking forward to flipping cut and run camp. I think that's something awesome. That's gonna be dope. Cut, cut and run camp. Camp, cut and run. I created that. House. <laughs> I created that. Can you cut hair, Lop? Does Lop know how to cut hair? Have you showed Lop? Do you remember? Yeah, I he does. I gave you that idea. Did I? Did I? Did I not? Did I not? Yes. I Lop? Did. That was Lop's idea. Yes, I did. That was Lop's yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, we'll give it to Lop. We'll Come it. on. That's humongous. So what else do you see for the shop? Because the shop is yours. The shop is yours in the future. So what else do you see for it? What do I see? Um, I don't know. What What do you want it to be, Dad, when you're gone? Huh? What do you think? That's a good question. He reminds me of my daughter. <laughs> yeah. A golf store? Yeah, a golf store, right? A golf store? A golf store, right? <laughs> a golf store? Yeah. No. You can no. do a golf store separately. Well, I guess it's probably Four not going to change much. Will you ever have robots in here cutting hair, Lock? Robots in here cutting hair? Yeah. If they, like, invented robots that I mean, could cut hair. I'm, yeah. Yeah? By then. No, you better not. By then. Promise me you'll only ever hire humans. Humans need I jobs. I mean, no, but by, by then, then, like... You know, AI has gotten like, <laughs> but it kind of scares me how like smart they're getting. I know. But, Do you yeah. use it at all for homework? AI? No, yeah. like chat GPT. No, I never knew that was like a thing. Uh, yeah? Yeah. I never knew that was a thing. Okay, good. Chat GPT lies though, so you got to be careful. It'll make up facts. Does it really? Yeah. Friday at 4 o'clock. So it's not foolproof. Yeah, Friday, yeah. September 1st. It's not foolproof. 4 o'clock. Okay, how much do What's you, um... What's your name? How much do you know about, Bobby? like, Judaism, oh. Christianity, oh. Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, like, just religion in general? Uh... In terms of understanding... Yeah, understanding what they believe, right, so understanding... Yeah. How they pray, just like in general. No, I don't know all that stuff. Like, I don't know the details of a lot of these religions. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I know a little bit of what they believe, you know. It's it's pretty much all the same, though. It's all... It's, 
It all aligns to the same path. You know what I'm I saying? I love that you would say that yeah, because I've been for the past two days. I've been trying to just talk to people about Islam, Christianity, and Judaism are all Abrahamic. It's it's the same thing. It's the same God. They pray to the God of Abraham, the one God. Right. They each have their different books, but they each share the same prophets, the same stories. So I'm trying to say that we're brothers and sisters in faith. So people. No, we are not, and da 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 da, and this and that, and it's like no, same prophet, same God. I don't understand, like. I know, I don't, I don't get it either. But, but, and this is the part that a lot of people don't want to hear. Tell me. It's, it's like that stuff. It was. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They commercialize it. Huh. They commercialize Okay. Okay. Well, this is like, this is like a commercialized thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it shouldn't be like that. Like, if I don't know what your religion is and we meet and connect and talk, what difference does it make what your religion is? Yeah. Or what you believe in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to talk to you because, oh, all of a sudden I found out you're a, what? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think human beings just need to understand that we're all human beings and we're exactly the same and we're gonna we're gonna pass the same way some of us are gonna die a heart attack some of us are gonna die the, the different diseases we yeah. all share these same things so there is no difference really in the end none of that's gonna even matter wow <laughs> right so we come together more now Sean now we should now exactly Shani, as somebody that identifies as a Christian, you're at church every Sunday. I tried to give him a fly. <laughs> how much do you know about how much do you know about Christianity? How much do you know about Christianity? But how much do you know about other religions? Yes, yes, yes. How much do you know about Christianity? And how much do you know about other religions? I know a little bit about the religion. I didn't do anything. He didn't even need it. He just put it by his arm. How much would you say you know about like Hinduism, Buddhism, Buddhism Islam, Judaism? Buddhism, I, 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 Buddhism and Catholicism. I go, to, I go to a Catholic church. I was baptized in a Roman Catholic church. So I know there's a lot of... Uh, do you know the Bible? Disper- oh, I never read the Bible. What do you mean you never read the Bible? I read Interesting. Par- I read parts of it, but yeah. I never... I don't know, I guess I was... And sort of like a forced into religion. Yeah. When I was a kid. Yeah. My mom wanted us to go to a Catholic school. Yeah. She made us become Catholics. Yeah. So I was baptized when I was very young. Yeah. And it was all set up for me to go to Catholic. Okay. All that stuff. Okay. So, so how do you feel about your religion now? Do you feel like it's something that was forced Wednesdays on you? Wednesdays and Sunday. Okay. No, not but it, and it's your choice though, because I've seen choice. you passionate about it. Yeah, I'm very passionate. So about come it. you're not reading the Bible, from because, like front um, to back. I don't understand it. Like, uh, I, I guess no, you got to read the easy, like clear you, word. Yeah, but when you read it, sometimes the phrases and stuff are hard no, no, to no. pronounce. No, no, no. I know, I know. And That's understand what, what it means because it's King James. You got to yeah. re- read the clear word. There's this Bible called the Clear Word Bible, and it reads just like a book, and it's really beautiful. You might really enjoy it. Well, maybe. I have it. At, I've flipped. I've got it, but it's yeah. like packed up, man. That's okay. That's okay. Um, like I said, I go to I go to church now Wednesdays. Yeah. And I go to church now on Sunday. Is it Wednesday Bible like study? It's uh, the, the Mary, the mother or something. It's like a woman's. Okay, it's not Bible yeah, study no, though. No, 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 it's not Bible study. It's, it, it's actually a it's mass. Okay, that's the thing about the Catholic Bible. Church too. Bible Some churches do Mary. focus on Bible study. You gotta say they help the Mary, Catholic like Church doesn't focus so much on Bible study. No. No, no they don't. They don't. They do, when they read it to you, that's, that's it. They, yeah. Right. There's a lot of control. T- right, so like, right, right, you're, right, right, right. oh man, like you don't I'm not trying to judge. The, you don't get to drink the wine, they say, right? I would like to, not because it's wine, but because <laughs> has, I want some of that power too. I want that some empowerment in myself. You give me the bread that of Christ, part. give me the blood of Christ too. Right? But they keep it for themselves. So there is a lot of... And so what, and you get, and what do you guys get? Grape juice? We don't get anything. (laughs) We don't get nothing. You don't get nothing. No, you get to drink from the, from the chalice. No, we don't get to drink from the chalice. Not anymore. They used used to give you little cups. Oh, they don't do that in the Catholic Church anymore. They used to. They used to give it to you, put the thing in your mouth and make you sit the thing. Yeah, the wafer. That's supposed to represent Jesus' body. The wafer you get, they put it in your hand now, they don't put it in your mouth. 
cannibalistic. But, <laughs> but I mean, whatever I give thanks for, to whoever I'm giving thanks to, I'm here standing here saying that it's a lot, some of it, not a lot, but some of it has to do with me wishing for certain things in life, like yeah. health, whatever. And if it's provided, like if I say my knee's hurting, oh Lord, please help me with my knee. <laughs> if my knee's better. So what do you say? What do you say yeah. about that, right? Yeah. But it's not to each, it's not to everyone. You have to be a believer. You have to believe, believe that there's a God out there. That the, in your body, that spirit that is in you, yeah. there's somebody, that, there's something that talks to you, that's talking to the brain. That's like when you die now, there's no talking, there's no asking, there's no speaking, there's no hearing, nothing. Everything's gone when you die. That's what you think? As soon as you die, everything's done. Everything it's just flat. The, the, the living, God forbid. Well, what are you thinking? It's the same. But you're, I, I believe it's exactly the same, but you're out of your body. I think it might be the same, but you're out of your body, and then you just wait for Judgment Day. But the Judgment Day of what? Of yourself? Because your, your Everybody judgment gets one else's... judge. I think there's one there's very one long judgment, and that's judgment yours. day. There's only one judgment, and that's your judgment. No, I believe there's one you judgment, can, and it's God's can, judgment. Can, how could you say it? Flesh? Flesh is gone already. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm so the flesh yeah. Is no. Right. No. The flesh. You don't identify. Consider it. You're consider not. it like game over. Okay, What's your score? Game over. What was your score? Yeah, but based on how you played that game, what what's your score? That's how it is. That's how, how did, I picture. So how did who score though? You. Because you're not. How did but Pete you're not score? you though. In your experience, you're not who you think you are. No, you are. No, you're definitely greater than Pete. Yes, I'm not but Pete. you're accountable for Pete's experience. You just okay, you just fair, lived that experience. Fair, fair, so you're accountable for Pete's fair. experience. But but okay. But that's the thing though. Is you should Let's hear people know how to live. Say. People know people we have it. We know how to live. We know what we need to do to survive. Like I think that comes natural. Mm -hmm. But some people when I guess become successful or whatever, it's maybe some trauma in their life or whatever and they don't live correctly yeah. they, 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 they don't look out for people they do see yeah. what I'm saying it's a different fate for them that's because they chose that path though but I think if we all live how we're supposed to be living then we're fine there's no judgment and all this stuff I don't think so I think I don't think you can escape judgment I think if you live the way you're supposed to live you're judged fairly okay so we have a pastor here so I'd That's be actually that. interested to get your opinion on this. Oh yeah. Um, yours too, Najim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I recently got into. I recently shared this picture with this other priest that Islam and Christian and Christians are brothers, mm. and it's caused some controversy now for the last three days. Do you see a similarity? Do you think there's a brotherhood between Christianity, Judaism, and Islam? You talking to me? Yes. <laughs> well, I think that w all three religions trace themselves back to Abraham. Exactly. And so uh, I do think that there's a brotherhood there. They're also uh, all people of the book. We all have holy books that we respect and enjoy reading as our holy books. Um, and we all worship one God. Obviously, we have different views of exactly how that one God uh, relates to himself, but uh, I think that there's enough there that we can have a dialogue as long as we respect both the similarities and the differences in our beliefs. I love that. Najim? Uh, like, I don't know. Do you religion. feel like you're brothers with Christians and, and Jews? Because you have the same God. Yeah. Because you have the same prophets. So I would say is, like I said, I don't know all the religions and how yes. they are, right? Yes. But as a person, I would say, like, I wouldn't treat someone differently for who they believe in, right? Yeah. But it's true, like, how Isaac said, is we all, we all have different beliefs, but it's the same thing. Yeah. But we have, we, 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 like, pray to different people, yeah. different gods. But at the end of the day, it's the same thing. It's the same belief. It's the same activities. It's the same, uh, you know? All is the same. It's, it's just different gods or different way of praying or different way of showing your belief to other, to your gods, you know what I mean? But yeah, I would say we're brothers and sisters. We're all the same. It's just the mindset. Everyone has his own mindset. Everyone has a has different way of thinking, 
you know? So, yeah, I would say we are. I would say we are, we are brothers and sisters. And Pastor, how much do you know about other religions, like Hinduism, Buddhism? I mean, I know some. I wouldn't call myself an expert. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I would sit across from a Buddhist or a Hindu and say I know a lot about your faith. But, yeah. Uh, what about Judaism and Islam? Do you know more about those uh, yeah, things? Yeah, probably or? a little bit more, but, yeah. uh, but still not, not as much. No. So what inspired you to become a pastor? Uh, I think that um, people are looking for deeper meaning and deeper truth in their lives, and yeah. I think that they can find it in God. And uh, I like to help people to uh, discover that, um, the ultimate purpose of their lives. So. When did you discover that? Uh, I was I was young, um, probably. Uh, I was I was in the, the Dominican Republic actually. Okay. Um, do you know what a leprosarium is? No. It's a, a place where people with leprosy go. Okay. And uh, there was a man there. He was so leprosy takes away your sense of feeling. Okay. And the skin bug. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a skin disease. Yeah. And uh, but. Uh, so the, the real problem with leprosy is that it, you can't feel pain. Okay. And so you end up hurting yourself, harming yourself, which is, and so they lose their limbs. Anyway, so he had leprosy, he was also blind, and he was deaf. And so one of the uh, members of the group that I was with went up to this man and started to massage him. Hmm. And he just started wailing, uh, just crying out. It was like he hadn't been touched for hmm. years. Yeah. Yeah. And there was something about that moment that made me realize that we all have a need for a deeper connection to one another and to God. There needs to be something greater than this life, um, or else what's the hope for this man, right? And uh, so that was, that was a real moment of truth for me where I, I decided that I wanted to uh, seek, seek that deeper truth for myself. And... Uh, so that's that's kind of my first moment. I was in high school. Uh, that's then, beautiful. 16 years old. So what's the journey exactly if you want to become a pastor? <laughs> you go to university? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so I'm actually from the States. Um, so it's probably a little bit different for me, but I went to college first, and then I went to... Uh, Seminary, which is a special school for pastors. Okay. I'm actually here in Toronto getting a PhD uh, at the University of Toronto. Love it. In the Old Testament. So I'm not currently pastoring, but I'm planning to go back um, to go back later after I finish this degree. So, so the Old Testament is essentially the Torah. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are Are you going to be teaching it to your followers that way? What do you mean by that? Will they, will they know that? Because some Christians don't even know that. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, I learned a lot from Jewish scholars yeah. of, the, of the Tanakh, uh, as they would call it. And I definitely think that there's a lot of insights that we can learn from one another. Um, so, so, yeah, I'll definitely be bringing some of those insights to my, to my churches okay. as well. And how important yeah. is Bible study? I think it's crucial. Hey? See you, man. Please invite Sean to your church. Oh, yeah? Okay. He, does, he hasn't done enough Bible study. <laughs> no, really, his church hasn't encouraged it, and he hasn't embraced it. I know enough. Yeah. Listen, Isaiah, right? That's right, yeah. Sean, Isaiah's a pastor. I know, I told you that. Okay, that's right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to go to his church for Bible study. I think you'll enjoy it. What's that? What's, what's your name? What's my God? Yeah, what's God's name? How much do you know about different religions? I'm uh, still here, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been through a few of them. Okay, which you ones have in? you been through? I've been, well, I was born Catholic, Muslim, okay, okay. Orthodox. I have, some, I have a change for you too, right? Orthodox from Christian? Sean, from Sean, yeah. Huh? Orthodox Christian? Right. Orthodox, okay. uh, See, sure. if you open Orthodox. Yes. Yeah, but I find the Jehovah's Witness teachings is accurate. Okay. Biblically. Okay. To the last letter. In terms of what? As far as how we should serve or worship. Okay. Or treat each other. 
okay. how we should live yeah. and treat the animals and, you know, um, how we live, you know, like things like stealing and, and, you know, like if, okay, say like if you have a nine to five job, but you're taking longer breaks and you're reaching early, uh, late and you're leaving early. Yeah. That's time test. Yeah. And that's dishonesty. Right. So, really? I like the teachings of the for once Jehovah's Witness, like I say, I've been, you know, Muslim and yeah. Orthodox, Catholic, Baptist. Hey, what? find the Jehovah's Witnesses. This is the last letter. Cool. Oh, Christine. Hey, talking about religion, do you want to say something? Just religion. Okay, about a religion? I'm, I'm asking you later, right after. How much do you know about different religions? And religions? is there a religion that you're particularly interested in? Um, well, actually, um, Buddhas, like Buddhists, when I was younger, mm -hmm. I was like two years old. And I saw like this blue Buddha, like it was like the head of a Buddha. Mm -hmm. And I saw it like floating across my room. Oh really? And it vanished into the clear door. And it was when I was living living with my mom, like when she had like a house. Yeah. So yeah. Did but you tell like, anybody about that? Pardon? Did yeah, I've told people about that, but I was like, I don't know if it's real or not. Yeah, so I was yeah. like, I was like a kid too, right? So I don't yeah. really know. But that's something like that's happened. So I don't know. But there's so many other different religions. But I think in what you believe in is where you're gonna go. So if you believe in something, that's where you're gonna go. You know, like you're drawing your energy towards that. Yeah. That's where you're gonna go. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's I love that. Afraid. Cool. Yeah. I know. I kind of believe that too. Yeah. Um, Kev, how much do you know about different religions? Oh, I don't want to have a religion conversation today. Okay. Cool. I know. <laughs> you know about. Well, you already know my thoughts. Me and Kev, Peter, kind of share similar thoughts when it comes to religion. I know, I know, and Chief Rito take us about this already. Exactly. <laughs> we talk to you about? You I'm know, bringing it up again because we'd on be Twitter, tired and feather. we'd be crucified if we were talking the way we I'm talk. I'm bringing bro. it up again. <laughs> I'm bringing it up again because on Twitter I had said that Muslims and Christians are brothers, and yeah, it became like they share a lot of similarities. In, uh, same God, religion. same prophet. So why can't you just say you're brothers in faith? Because they're, 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 they have this, there's, there's a couple of very important differences between Islam and Christianity. But if you have the same God and the same prophets, why can't you just at least say you're brothers? I agree with you. I agree with you with that. Everyone, everyone is your brother and your sister. Everyone. Humans. Right. Humans. That's Humans. that's where I started. Humans. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because no, somebody humans. was like, no. You somebody was like, is. exactly. Somebody was like, Man. not my brother. And I was like, listen. First of all, your brother, because we're all humans. Exactly. Right. Right. But definitely your brother in faith, because okay. you have the same God. You have the I, same I, I prophet. The same but definitely at first. Lisa, before I forget this, brother. Man. Yeah. Has forsake the teachings of yeah. God. Okay. And stick. To, Tradition of men. That's what they follow. Oh, Tradition of men. Beyond. Beyond. Hi. I got. I got a line for you. Thank you. Religion is a human yeah. construct. That's it. Oh man. Sean's talking to himself, right? He didn't you. That's 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 religion. That's that's, a, that's an interesting question. Religion question. is a that's human construct. Spirituality. Okay. Hold on. Religion is a human construct. Uh, spirituality is your nature. Hmm. It's okay. not made so by man. what's the difference? It's a big difference. I gotta go by this. It's a big difference between religion and spirituality. Tell me, at least one major difference. Spirituality is the human connection to its out, outside surroundings. Okay. Religion is a belief. And belief is not based in fact. 
Actually, it's a doubt. You should get some of this in here. Right. To say you believe in something is to okay. say you don't know. Carolyn Bates. It's Carolyn. This is Steve. Oh, hey, how are Belief you? is a doubt. You want to get back into that. So, so to say you believe in God, it means there is a bit of doubt. To say you I know there's a God. There's a God. There's a, see, there's a big difference, right? Yeah. So you can't tell me that there's not a higher power or, or something of a creator. And how much do you know about other religions? Have you ever like... Uh, I've read some. I'm not really in depth into it. I can't say I'm a scholar. A scholar in it, you know what I mean? But I think I could kind of hold my weight with understanding different religions. Yeah. But all religions have good and all religions have bad. Hmm. How much do you know about different religions? So I'm talking Hinduism, Islam, Judaism, Christianity. I just know a bit about, a bit about everyone. I'm not say everyone, but I know a bit about... About them. I know a bit about a few of them, I guess. If I say that Muslim and Christians are brothers in faith, how does that make you feel? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, I don't know. It's all the same crap to me. It's all. It's just different parts of the world. They believe in the, in, in a different version of the same book. Well, it's like the same book across the world, but it's different versions, different languages. So I don't know. They're all the same. It's all a control book. It's a book that the 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 elites them use to control the people. Hmm. That's all it is. Cause they don't they don't respect the book themselves. They use the book to control people. For sure. Control your behavior. Make sure you're not stealing, make sure you're not killing. Yep, so they don't have to do it. <laughs> I would do it too. Huh? I would do it too, for sure. Give people a God? Pardon me? Give people an orderly God? Trick people? Trick people to keep my people in power? I would do it, for sure. That's the world. He? They just keep tricking everybody to keep the stay in power. Make you believe that you believe in, in the books and stuff. Instead of going out and getting it yourself, they'll tell you to go pray to God or something like that. And nothing ain't gonna happen. People that pray always pray for the same thing. And they're always still not getting it. But they still pray because they have belief in God. It's Allah, whatever they want to believe in. My brother turned Muslim, and I swear to you, I think that's been like the worst times of his whole entire life. Really? It, it has been like, uh, well, on paper, like, I don't know, it's, it's been the worst time of his life to me. Like, because of what? Because he turned to Muslim, and he didn't listen to me. <laughs> so he can't believe in religion, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's a hard time, and he's going to come out of it a better person. No, nah, because everything is leave it to Allah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and Allah don't do nothing. You don't see the people in the Middle East are dying every day. Like, how is Allah not there helping them? Like, what's going on? And their own, their same Allah people are killing them too. It's all, it's all a joke, man. It's all, it's all lies. They all lies to control people. Interesting take. Yeah. It's all lies. Like, people can't see that. I don't like, know. I, I do have faith, and I have seen miracles, and I have experienced miracles. But it's so. not because of God. I'm telling you that. I'm because saying, I feel like it's because of God. It's impossible. It's impossible because there, there's so much great people, there's so much good people on this planet. Good, 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 good people on this planet. And they go through, the, like, the worst. Like the, like, the, like, the greatest people go through, like, the worst stuff on this planet. Like, why is that? There is no God. There is none of that crap. There's probably good energy. I believe in energy. I believe in spirituality and stuff, but mm -hmm. I don't believe in, like, no book of God. I do not believe in that at all. That don't make no sense. Because no one was there. They have The book starts and says, um, in the beginning. That's how all the books start, like, in the beginning. Like, who wrote that sentence? Like, the people, like, the, like in the first sentence, you debunk the whole book. Like, in the beginning, God did that, so who wrote that? I feel like my understanding of it mm -hmm. is that it would have been, so Genesis, book of Genesis, would have been the Torah. It might have been something that was just passed on from, like, in a verbal way, and then written eventually by no, human. No problem. Who was there? Who was there um, jotting down what God did? Like, I think God there? revealed it. 
No, come on. That don't make no sense. He's, the book didn't say that. The book says in the beginning, God did this and God did that. That means that somebody was there watching God do this and God do that. It just so happens, school, we have a pastor here. Pardon me? So let's see what the pastor says. We have a pastor here, Pastor Isaiah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, the shop always oh, delivers. Wow. Pastor Isaiah, why do good people go through bad things? Why, why, why do good people, why do bad things happen to good people? Why do bad things happen to good people? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think it's because of uh, sin in the world. Uh, this world has, we've turned against against God and we followed our own path and these are the consequences in the whole world. So, we, uh, I guess for, for me it's, it's that simple. We can't, you know, the, we can't understand suffering, like there's, there's, like what I believe is that God Himself, rather than trying to explain to us why we suffer, He came as a human in Jesus Christ and experienced suffering Himself with us. Um, so His solution was to. Uh, to come and join us in it, and then to die for us, so that we could then uh, be restored into a relationship with Him. Okay. Schooly had also asked in Genesis. It says, "In the beginning, mm -hmm. there was the Word." Mm -hmm. Who wrote that? Who came up with that first line? Uh, well. Christians, at least, uh, believe that God reveals himself to his people. So why can't God just speak it to a prophet who's, yeah. who writes it down? That's what... That's, that, was, that was my understanding. That's how I believe it happened, at least. That's Bad it. things happen to good people because of sin, because there's sin in the world. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you have to take sin into account. Uh, sin. What's a, who, who invented that sin? Who invented sin? Okay, some religions believe, though, that humans naturally know good from bad. Yeah, we do. Okay. We do. So then the sin would be anything that is bad, the, that you know is bad. The, what sin is, the only reason why we started to sin is because of the, like, the government, society. They made us start sinning. We're not naturally sinners. You know when people be like, if um, if there was no rules, it would be anarchy. No, it would only be anarchy because of the way we are now. But if we were the way we are in the beginning, we're loving people. We don't get up every day want to kill somebody. No, we want to get up every day want to laugh and have fun. You know, be with your family and stuff like that. Be with your friends. That's what you want to do naturally. Do you don't want to naturally get up and go pillage people? That's because of the way that the way of the world, right? But I don't know about um. Sin, like sin is, that, that's another Bible book, that, that's another Bible word. So you don't believe right? in sin? There's, there's, there's good stuff and there's bad stuff. There's yeah. good people and there's bad people. And not even good people and bad people, there's people that do good, good behavior and, that, and yeah, bad it is, behavior. Exactly, good yeah. behavior and bad behavior. You know, and I think most bad behavior comes from people being crazy. Like literally, like they're like something is wrong with them. Hmm. Right, because you don't do certain stuff if you're a sane person, right? Like a lot of people think that, or even say, like in 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 our in our community, in our in our uh, culture, you know, a lot of people think that these guys are like, oh, he's a murderer. He's not really a murderer. He's really crazy, and he hasn't been attended to, and now he has certain things that make him look like you know he's, he's a guy that's out there and yeah. doing certain things. But he's not. He's crazy. We have a lot of crazy friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, and those are the guys that do bad stuff. If you're not crazy, you don't do bad huh. stuff. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, so I you think I a think lot of like, like bad behavior or like sin that, like, is connected to just mental health. It's mental health, 100 percent. Like if you, humans' if, natural default is good, good yeah. leaning. Yes, we are. We we love. We're loving people. A human being is a loving person until you teach them wrong, right? Like just like every kid, 
like if you go to if you, if you put like you know ten different ethnic groups of kids inside a room to play, they just play. They won't even they will never see each other's color. They'll yeah. just play, yeah. right? Until you let the kid the adults corrupt them. And when the adults corrupt them now, now they see color, now they these, now yeah. they see this, and now they see that. That's how it works, man. And that's pervasive. Corruption. That's in the air. Yeah. Yeah, it's corruption. We corrupt people because like, we're corrupted. Religion versus spirituality, Panther. What's the difference to you? They use religion to control people. Spirituality is something that you don't have to go nowhere to feel. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, good, good answer. Yeah, basically, that's what I, that, that's what I think. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And, and, and to me, spirituality is, is, is that feeling that you get when, you know, like when religious people say it was God, you know, but it was a, it was a spiritual feeling because we're all spiritual, you know what I'm saying? I feel that because we're, we're all energy. I mean, we're all electrical. You know what I'm saying? And we all have an energy to us. So, I don't know. I, I, that, that's just, yeah. The spirituality is just more you. It's not the, you know, follow this and do that and come here on Sunday and all of that. No, and, no. and all, and mo most of these, most of, one thing I noticed, a lot of, most religious people, like, they're like, almost like the worst human beings. On the planet. <laughs> no. No. All right. No problem. No problem. No problem. All right. So. But you're you wanna, saying in you wanna terms go of to, judgment. You want to go to a Catholic church, right? And you want to go to their priest. Their priests have like thousands, thousands of pedophilia cases against them. How is that even close to possible? Like, how is that church even existing still? And you guys have to talk about your pastors doing pedophilia every year, every month. Like, they're lucky that they, they're lucky that they have a dumb. Like, like they're lucky that the world audience is dumb. Because if the world audience was not dumb, they would have got sacrificed a long time ago. That whole church would have got sacrificed a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what anybody wants to say, but, oh, it's just one, one, one. No, bro, this has been going on for decades. Forever it's been going on with these guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just notice that these guys, they do the worst things. I have a friend, me and, me and, me and one of my close friends, we were, we were, we were away, you know, in, in a place where we, you know, we were just away, right? So, um, this person preaching every Sunday, every Sunday, he would be like, yo, come to church every Sunday, come to church every Sunday, right? He, 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 was, he was extremely religious, right? But as soon as he finishes church, he'll come back from church and if somebody would, I don't know, take long on the phone, you know, like, and, and he wants you, right? So I'd be like, bro, like, this is me, man. Don't come to church, bro, and you do all these stuff. But the Lord and the Lord, and I'm like, oh, man, you guys, like, they're, they're, I'm not saying that all of them are, but, that's what I've noticed. I've noticed that these people are like the worst, you know. Even like even um, uh, uh, my mom, my mom grew me grew me to be a Rasta, right? So even in the Rasta church, the pastor at, in the pastor in our church, like he was around. You know, as a kid, I heard rumors that he was, you know, he would be um sexing off all the young girls in the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm like, I'm like, but man, I, yeah, I don't need all of that in my life, man. I just need to stay positive. You know what I'm saying? Like, do good. You know, have good energy towards everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what I think life's about. Just we have good energy. It's not about going to nobody and making them telling you anything about that. Cause none of that's in most of the stuff in these books don't make no sense. It doesn't even it, it doesn't even adapt to right now. Contradiction after contradiction. It, it doesn't even it doesn't even, and, and they always have the <laughs> one thing. I talk with pastors and stuff all the time, but they always have the their vague answers. They never have real answers. They never have a, a, a yes no answer. They always have some kind of imaginary kind of answer. And I'm like, boy, I'm not really here for that. You know, like that's what they teach. That's what they teach you the Bible when you're a kid. So when you're a kid, you're more susceptible. To, you know, you you you're, you're, you're easier to you're easier to uh, manipulate. You know what I'm saying? Well, I definitely, yeah, not, not I definitely, my love for the Bible sense. actually was born was bred when I was a kid. Exactly, your so mom, definitely. your mom, your grandma. You know the songs are you know the songs are so sweet, right? You know those you know the church songs. Like no, when you think of it, those songs were so sweet. I, I, I used to go to church and I hated going to church, but the one one part of the church I did love was the singing part. Mm -hmm. I'm not lying, the singing part was nice. You know, everybody gets up and starts doing the singing part. Yeah. The carols, right? And that's what they get everybody. Even right now, they do it, but they do it with hip hop and reggae, right? <laughs> in the church. Yeah, but they do that. They, they did it in the church first. The church had the first songs. Those were, those were like the first songs. You know what I'm saying? David, his songs, these were the first songs. 
know what I'm saying? They, 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 what do they say? The, um, the devil pays music to get you. No. Yeah, they say, they say, I, I, they, you they, can't they, say they the devil, devil plays music. music to get me and then not be in church to find God. What do you mean? I just feel like if you're going to acknowledge the strength of the devil, you have to definitely acknowledge the strength of God. Oh, I don't acknowledge none of their strength. None of them. I don't believe they have strength. What kind of strength do they have? I've never seen them do anything. Nothing. My whole entire life. What's going to happen when you pass? You're just going to go into the dirt and be worm food. You think it's just lights out? Yeah, I guess, I guess nobody knows. Like, nobody knows. Like, anybody tell you that they know is a liar. Because they're still here and they never went there. And, and nobody went there and came back and said, yo, this is what it is. People die. Oh, yeah, some, die people, like, some people have died for five yeah, minutes. Yeah, no, some people have died. Some people have died and, and have... You never heard any... Um, Listen, how, come on, any man. Any of those... Who's um, actually encounters? been there and came back? What are they called? You, 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 you oh, there's, a, there's, there's like a hundred YouTube videos about it. There's a thousand yeah, YouTube videos people about that, it. Of people that weren't dead. Near death experience. Near death experiences. Of people, that fought, people, of people that fought. People that people were dead. Not people that dead also people. flatlined. People yeah. that were dead for a few minutes. Yeah. And then for them it was like two weeks. They went to hell. They went to heaven. God told them, smarten up. <laughs> They're like, oh no, it's real. Oh them no, them it's real. Oh you. no, it's real. Special okay, what you. happens? What happens if you pass? And God is like, schools. schools should have been on the Bible. Should have been on the Quran. Should have grabbed one of them books. I'd have been like, should have grabbed God, one of them I'd, books. I'll be like, where's God? your prayers? I don't answer prayer school. I don't answer prayers. God's gonna break down all all the blessings that He gave you. I would say God. Can't even. I would say God. <laughs> what 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 did you what did you give me to make me believe in you? Oh wow, really? Yeah. What did you give you me? You think God doesn't have receipts? No, God no, has receipts. No, 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 no. I want the day your child receipts. was born. What does that mean? The what day, does that do? the day, the food almost didn't go down your throat and your and your heart you know, stopped. You, 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 you know, know, God, please. Do you know that crackheads, right? Two crackheads, two two like crackhead meth heads inside of a, a, a crack basement right now had sex and had a kid? So what's you know, your you point? It's my, still a miracle. My point is that you think these things are miracles? Do you think that's what happened? It's nature. Like miracle. It's a miracle. Stop. No, it's not a miracle. Stop. No, it's not a Stop. miracle. Stop. Oh my God! Are, are you kidding? Just I know because, guys that have twenty kids, man. Just miracle because what? it happens frequently, a miracle. and just because people are ungrateful, doesn't mean it's not a miracle. The it's only life. People, the only people that it's get, life. You made love to somebody, and you created a life. Uh, most people don't even make Stop. love to nobody and create life. A lot of people just have you, sex behind a garbage Even if you dumpster. just say you ejaculated something from your body into my body, and it creates life. Yeah. That's a miracle. No, it's not. That's a miracle. It happens every day. And the person is born perfect. A miracle is something that does not happen hair. often. A miracle is something that does not happen often. It's miraculous. No, it's not. Don't say that. It's miraculous for somebody that, that can't have kids probably. But just the average human being, that is not miraculous. I see maybe, crackheads, maybe I'm not using the right have, word. Have, it's have, have kids divine. It's magical. It's of importance, of significance. It's not um, It's not, not a big uh, deal. It's a life. Point, to a point. To a point, because not everybody's productive. You know what I'm saying? Not I don't think you have to be productive for your life to be. No, I don't. I don't mean productive as in for your um, existence. like financial. Product. I mean like not everybody's productive. Not everybody makes everybody feel better. You know what I'm saying? Not, like, you know, you don't get up and make everybody feel better. No, you know what I'm, you're not I'm saying just yourself, just you sitting. Mm -hmm. The way your eyes work, the way you're able to speak, the fact that there's language, the way you're able to breathe, think, grow hair, heal, all of that. Yeah, that's, that's is. That's unknown. Of importance, of significance, miraculous. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's unknown. We and the know, fact that it's unknown. It. And the fact that you don't know how it's done. The yeah. fact that you, you That's yourself, miraculous. truly, don't yeah, even know. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know everybody dies, but you don't know what happens when we die. Even I that, agree. that's magical. Nobody knows what happens when we die. And that's no, all but I we all die. Sure. That's what we know for sure. Yeah, that's a fact. And, 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 and hmm. people that act like they know too much for me, I just yeah. ask them, why did God make like you know, 13 different kind of frogs or, you know, like variety, kind of beauty? That Have you crazy. seen the perfection that of this crazy. world? Okay. That variety. Pastor. What happens when we die? What, what, what do you think die? happens when we die? <laughs> Sorry. No, the pastor. No, no, no. The pastor. What do you Look, believe? I believe that, uh, that there is an afterlife. And either we will be with God forever or we will not. That's what I believe. 
And do you believe in a judgment day? I do. Mm -hmm. And what happens on this judgment day? On judgment day, um, we are, uh, those who believe in God will go to eternal life, and those who do not will go to eternal death. What about God being all-forgiving, all most forgiving, most merciful? Look, I have hope. That all, I have hope that all will be saved. Right? I don't think it's really clear. everyone, right? I don't think it's clear in Scripture that, that all will be saved. In fact, I would say it does not seem like that will be the case. But I do hope, and I know that God's more merciful than I am. So, uh, so we'll see what He decides to do. You looking forward to Judgment Day? You good? I think I'm you good. good? I think I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Cool. But. Pastor's going to see you on Judgment Day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, is Moses still waiting? Moses will be ahead ahead of the line from when we're in line, but I don't think so. New new converts. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're like school where there there is some doubt. You know what I mean? Like they're just they're really just finding out for themselves now. Now it's them and it's God. Are you convincing them? Like how do you? I guess how do you reassure somebody there's a God? <laughs> Look, I mean, I believe that God decided to reveal himself to us through a book. And I say, look, I'm going to read that book and I'm going to find out whether or not I believe what this, what, what, whether or not this is God's word or not. And I allow that to be what I put in front of people. So that's why I preach God's word. People, people hear it. They can decide for themselves whether or not they believe it's God's word or not. I, I'm not the one who does convince them. Ultimately, it's God who convinces them or not. I can't, hmm. I can't do anything with Interesting, my own interesting. <laughs> so, Favorite Bible story? Favorite Bible story? Yeah. Uh, you know what story I love is when Jesus goes to the woman at the well. Yes. And she's a woman who's uh, ostracized from her community. Nobody loves her. Uh, she's been married who, who knows how many times. We don't even know exactly why, but she's going to the well by herself. Nobody's with her. Jesus comes up to her. He speaks to her. He's a Jew. She's a Samaritan, so they shouldn't, oh, he shouldn't be speaking to her, but he does. And not only that, but she's the first one who he reveals that he's the Messiah to. Oh, huh, really? She says, I know that the Messiah is coming and he will do everything for us. And then Jesus says, and this moment gets me every time, he says, I who speak to you am he. Hmm. And he reveals it to her. And she is the first one to get to hear this from Jesus. Then she goes and tells everybody. So I love this ostracized Thank you. I love woman that. Is the first woman who is the first person who Jesus reveals this to. I love that. Thank you. Fucking very anti-religious. Oh, really? Yeah, extremely. I was going to say, how much do you know about different religions? Okay. And why are you anti-religion? Then let's start there. I think it was all, uh, it's all man-made. And uh, I think it causes nothing but division, wars, their nonsense, you know. Uh, you should just be a good person to be a good person, not because you believe that somebody's watching over you or... Uh, you know, stuff like that. You should just be naturally, you should just do good to other man, mankind and not worry about, you know. Uh, Is that like, more spirituality or just in general? Just to make life now better? Well, just be good to one another. I mean, you don't need religion to to make, to, to, to cause you to be that way, right? You don't need religion. If there was no religion, it doesn't mean that there wouldn't be any good people left, right? No, I, I truly believe that right. humans know right from wrong and it is a natural thing. Right. What do you think happens when we die? So, I watched a video the other day that kind of tripped me out about a, a guy who had a brain aneurysm and he talks about dying and his experience. Yeah. And he, and he said that um, basically the whole thing about your life flashing, your entire life flashing before your eyes very yeah. quickly, yeah. he said that happened, but it was only all of the good moments. Huh. And then he said he started getting to a place where he felt extreme peace yeah. and he didn't want to leave that place. He didn't want to come back. He was good where he was and, you know, he was brought back. But it was a, it was a real eye-opening interview and, um, I mean, it kind of uh, connects 
to what I believe in and you know I don't believe in that there's a heaven above and we're gonna go see all of our loved ones again and oh, no? we're gonna go through the pearly gates and all of our people's gonna be there like oh shit you believe in a judgment is. day where you have to actually be responsible for the choices you made in this life <sighs> I, I don't think so no. I think we all go to the same place in the end I mean I'd like to think that pedophiles burn in a pit of hell and you know for agony forever but I don't see it. I, I, I just believe when, when our time's up, our time's up, and, and I don't, yeah, I just, I, I, I think it's a wrap. Thank you. Okay, PD, final words on, I think what's amazing is that the right people are always in the shop for the topic, which is just like crazy. Like, there's something magical about this place. Like, no joke. I'm not kidding. So the fact that there was a pastor in here today, yeah, we were no. talking about like it that was wasn't, just perfect. Yeah, that wasn't planned or anything. No. That was just, you know. Um, final word on that, then final word on no news in Canada. Final word on on, on religion? Final word on religion. On religion. Confusion. Yeah, final word on religion versus Confusion. spirituality. Okay, final word on yeah. religion. I say I say, well, you religion know, everybody's 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 can have their own opinion, yeah. but yeah. there's only one truth, and in the at, in the end, there's okay. only one truth. Okay. So what I'm saying, and so and we can all agree that we're all going to the same. We don't need desti our destiny is exactly the same. We're all gonna leave this, the earth, mm -hmm. alone. You know what I mean? So live the best you can, because yeah. you're here for a short time. Just think of it that way, like tomorrow, could, today could be your last day. Look at it that way and, and, and try to live the best you can. That's my advice to you on, on, on religion. I love it. Thank you for watching another episode of Shop Talk. Please remember to press that subscribe button down at the bottom. Please. I did it.